this weekend. Bailey Baker is at the old sugar mill checking it all out. What's going on, Bales? Hi. Okay, so, you know, there's only a couple of things that I love in this world. My family, my friends, good company, this show. But a top contender, wine and chocolate. And if whether you are experienced in wine or you are a, new, a beginner, this event is for you because you can experience more than 16 tasting rooms um, of you know, all kinds of varietals, and you can explore the port. And it's Valentine's Day almost, so you want to, you know, spoil your, your loved one with some good wine. And I'm here with a local winemaker who's been making wine for over 40 years. This is Scott. Hi. So let's talk about this weekend and what you're offering um, people who come into the tasting room. Yeah, so here at the Sugar Mill in Clarksburg, both days, Saturday and Sunday, from 10 to 5, um, we will be serving port right out of the barrel, and all these other wineries will be serving ports too. And then we have all these great chocolate purveyors because port and chocolate go together. They're just a marriage made in heaven. That's right, TT. And also, uh, Ginger Elizabeth has offered chocolates for Scott Harvey, and I know that's one of your favorite. You know, chocolate experts in this in the area. So you're going to get spoiled here with good chocolate and good wine. Tell us about what the difference is between wine and port. Wine and port. Port is a British invention. It was invented by the British when they uh, could no longer get wine in France uh, from uh, Bordeaux. And what happened was the port wines would re-ferment in the barrel. Uh, on the way up to England, and so the, Port the English got them to add alcohol to the fermenting wine to stop it halfway through fermentation. So you have uh, about about six or seven percent residual sugar, and then twenty percent alcohol. And it's which is a lot for wine, right? It is, but we leave it in the barrel for five years, and and in that time, the alcohol and the sugar marry. And you end up with this delicious chocolate type beverage. This is great. So, if there's a newbie coming in, uh -huh. what would you recommend? Where would they start? How would you explain port to them? Well, I would uh, tell them to smell it first mm -hmm. and just get the aromas of you're, you're trapping all those great flavors in the wine but would, by stopping the fermentation. And then to sip it very lightly because it's 20% alcohol. And then have some chocolate, mm -hmm. and then have some more wine, and it just. Why does chocolate and port pair so well? Because they have very similar characteristics. They have that that real rich extraction and, and kind of a glycerin type character, and they just have the same mouthfeel. And port is not only the thing that they're offering this weekend in the tasting rooms. You have other wines that are available to try. So if you're not maybe into port, you can have the experience of trying um, whites, reds, from all um, light to more bold. Yeah, the sugar mill has a, like 20 wineries here, and you can get anything from bubbles to Riesling to uh, white, dry whites, sweet whites, and then bold reds, and Zinfandel and Barbera. It's a wonderful thing. So this weekend, they are opening their doors for a port and wine chocolate weekend. It's 10 to 5. Tickets are still available. You get to try everything that's in here. That's more than 16 wineries that are locally grown. So you don't want to miss it. And yeah, come down and I'll be hanging out here and sipping on some delicious um, port from Scott Harvey. So <laughs> Cheers. awesome. Cheers. Cheers to you, babe. I don't have